Hello and welcome. This is Christina Hills with the Website Creation Workshop and welcome to my free masterclass training on the top 10 plugins every website needs and why. And this is my top 10 easy plugins. So we're focusing on easy plugins that are fun and are going to help you to build and market your site. Well, uh, my name is Christina Hills. I am a WordPress coach and teacher since 2008. I have been mentoring people all over the globe. I help coaches, consultants, speakers, authors, and business owners how to create their websites in the Website Creation Workshop, which is my foundational course. Uh, before I was an online entrepreneur, I was a visual effects artist. I worked for George Lucas's company, Industrial Light and Magic. I worked on films such as Star Wars, Episode One, E.T., The Extraterrestrial, and Jurassic Park 2. And here is a slide uh, from the E.T., the re-release, not the original one, the re-release. I worked on that film. And this was probably my favorite shot that I worked on from Jurassic Park 2 and my job was to make the dinosaur look like it was really there in this live action scene. So I took the computer dinosaur and I put shadows on him and I made him stand behind the cars and I had him interact with the light pole and uh, that was a lot of fun. And then the most famous film that I worked on was uh, Star Wars Episode One. So you can go rent that movie and you will see my name uh, in the credit. All right, so what are we talking about today? We are talking about WordPress websites. And again, if you joined us and you don't yet have a WordPress website, uh, I can let you into my foundational course. So just email support at websitecreationworkshop.com if you want to get into that program or call the phone number on the screen, but definitely stick around because you're going to learn a lot today. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump into it. So your website is made up of pages. So you probably have a home page, maybe a programs page, an about page, a contact page, and a blog. And maybe you do group coaching or maybe you do personal consulting. And, you know, maybe you don't have programs yet. Maybe you're just a one-man band. Uh, you do uh, private one-on-one -on -one coaching or you do uh, personal consulting. Then uh, you may have a blog, and I love blogging. And um, here under the blog, you'd have different articles. And they're referred to as blog posts. So some people talk about, I put up an article, I put up a blog post. It's the same it's the same term. All right, so here's a screenshot of uh, my website. So here's my home page. Here's my programs page. Here's my about us page. Then I have a contact form and here's a screenshot of my blog. And, you know, I've got more pages than that, but this is kind of the basics. So what I want to do now is I want to talk about the main WordPress components inside WordPress. And I'm going to step through all of these and, and get you familiar with it. And if you've got a WordPress site, you probably are familiar with this already. So let's go inside under the hood and sort of take a peek at how WordPress works. Well, WordPress has these different components. So one is one area is your pages. Uh, the next area is your posts. Those are your blog posts, your articles. Then you have menus, you know, the menus at the top that people click on to go to different places. Your media library. So what I'm doing is I'm stepping through these items on the inside admin to sort of show you what each main uh, component is. So the media library is where you would upload photos or maybe videos or PDFs. I'm going to be talking about embedding a PDF 
So that's in your media library. Then the next section is plugins, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. So there's this plugins area. Then you have widgets, and I'll be explaining what widgets are if you're not really familiar with, but there's a whole widgets area. Then your themes, this is your theme design on your website, and I can show different themes uh, later, but the, the theme is the look and feel of your site. And then users, users are people who have a login to your site. So that's generally going to be you and maybe an assistant if you have an assistant, but that is where you control who gets to log in to the back end of your site. And what you're looking at on the screen is the back end. So this training today is for people who have a WordPress website and don't need my foundational course. But if you don't, you're going to learn a lot today anyway because I teach with pictures. All right, so as I said, if you're a beginner, you can still stick around because you're going to learn a lot. And also at the end, when I get, after I get through the presentation and after I talk about my intermediate WordPress training, I'll take your questions live and we'll do some website reviews. Okay, so we're going to focus on plugins. So what are WordPress plugins? <clears throat> plugins are like adding apps to your phone. So when you buy a phone, either an iPhone or a Droid, it comes with a whole bunch of apps installed on it. And with WordPress, there are 59,000 other plugins that you can add. So plugins can be visible effects, like something you would see, or they can be behind the scenes functional. So sometimes you install a plugin and you see, oh, look what it's doing. And then sometimes it's something that's happening behind the scenes. So just like falling snow, like sometimes during the holiday, I put up a falling snow plugin just because it's kind of fun. Uh, here's another one, which is a visible effect, is a social media sharing. And I'm going to talk about social media sharing. So these are social media sharing icons. So when you add this plugin, then, and I'll show the plugin when I get to that, you've got these little icons that people can share your article or your page to their social media. And then here's a couple examples of behind the scenes um, backing up your site. So it's important to keep your site backed up. And so this is an example of a backup plugin where you just click the button and you back up your site. And another one which I'll talk about more behind the scenes is a search engine optimization. So you see it, the effects of it are behind the scenes and then this is logged in showing how uh, this article would look on uh, in Go as Google as a Google search result. All right, so when there are over 59,000 plugins, how do you choose, right? If you have a WordPress website, how do you choose? Again, stay with me till the end of the presentation where you can ask questions about the presentation. I can review your website so I can go on the internet and it'll be really fun and really interactive. Okay, so what are you learning today? You're learning about my top 10 list of easy WordPress plugins every site needs, and I'm focusing on easy. So the first one is search engine optimization. That is referred to as SEO. So what is SEO? So it stands for, as I said, search engine optimization. And although WordPress is already very search engine friendly, there are things that you can do to boost your search engine results without needing to hire an SEO expert. So I'm just going to state the obvious in case somebody came here late. WordPress is the system to build your website. So when somebody says a WordPress website, it's a website built on the WordPress foundation 
And that's what I've been teaching for the past 16 years. All right, so my number one plugin is Yoast SEO. So it improves your search engine optimization. It helps you improve your readability. So it helps you with readability. And I'm going to show a slide for that. It also, this plugin also creates a special map for Google. So Google has a map of all your pages. Hold on. Google, it creates a special map so Google knows what's on your site. And even if you don't want to SEO your site, it'll make you a better writer. Like some people, for some reason, they don't want the search engines to find their site. Um, but that's fine. This plugin will make you a better writer. So Yoast SEO, that's the name of the plugin, helps you show up in search results. So here's an example of one of my articles, and this is how it looks in the search results. And it also helps with readability. So I'll go a little bit slower on this slide. When you install Yoast SEO, there's this little tab that says readability, and it shows you what you could do to fix your writing. So it helps you become a better writing. So this text starts with, contains four consecutive sentences starting with the same word. So it's suggesting you kind of mix that up. And then this is only 14.5% of the sentences contain a transition word. So it's helping you out. And then it's also showing, you know, your reading ease. Are you in the passive or active voice, subheadlines, paragraph lengths, sentence lengths. So what makes this plugin really fun is you can, when you read this, you can like improve your writing and then it'll show you. And, and your goal is to get all green lights. So as you can see in the screenshot of this article, uh, the readability needed some improvement, but all the other SEO things were good. So that's, this is a great plugin. Now there is an alternative to Yoast SEO, and some people like this one better. This is a newer plugin. Yoast SEO has been around for a very long time, uh, and it's called Rank Math. So if you're like, hey, Christina, I heard Rank Math is better, you know, go ahead and use Rank Math. So it's whichever one you like better. Both of these plugins are free. All right, so that was plugin, top 10 plugin number one. Let's go to plugin number two, which is about cloning your pages. So what is cloning? Cloning is copying and copying a page or a post. So for example, I had this uh, webinar called The Simple Truth About Succeeding Online, and I wanted to create this webinar, the top 10 plugins, so I just cloned this page to this, and then I just swapped out the graphic, and I swapped out the dates, and I changed the text up. But it makes it a lot easier than you don't have to create from scratch. You copy something you already have. And this one is also by Yoast. Actually, it was by this guy named Enrico, and then Yoast bought it. So it's called Yoast duplicate post. You can copy a post of any time with just a click. So you can duplicate your pages or your posts. It'll save it into a new draft. It saves you time copying over the content. So um, um, instead of copy paste, copy paste, you just click the button and it duplicates it. So this is an example of this. You might have a portfolio page. Maybe you have a portfolio of clients you work with. And when you get a new client and you want to add them to your, you know, testimonials, you just click to duplicate it. And now you have the new one and then you just make a few changes. So again, how easy is this? It is super easy. So I'm, this is a screenshot of inside a WordPress in the back end in the classic editor. And on the right hand side, 
if you get if you install that plugin duplicate post you click on copy to a new draft and it makes a whole new draft all right so duplicate post um, is number two and so let's move on to number three which is how to automatically add images all right, images. So finding, downloading, and uploading images to your website can take time. Well, you are going to love this, plug this plugin called Instant Images. Instant Images. So what it does is it will automatically add images to your site from these four stock photography websites into your WordPress site. So they have Openverse, no, they have Unsplash, Openverse, Pixabay, and Pexels. So once you install this into your uh, admin, then you um, come over to your media library area and you have a new little link called Instant Images. And this, when you click on it, this shows you a library of images that you can then pull into your own site. So this gives you the option and then when you click it then gets downloaded. So there's Unsplash and then there's Openverse which is another company. Uh, Pixabay has been one of my favorites for a long time and then Pexels. So you might be thinking well Christina which one do I use? Well if I'm thinking of a certain topic, you know, like surfer, and I search for surfer, maybe I don't like their surfer, but maybe a Pixabay or Openverse has a better version. So it's, it's four different libraries for you to pick from. So love this plugin. Uh, it, 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 instant images solves the problem of finding uh, and loading images quickly uh, into your site. Now, important disclaimer, in terms of copyright issues, I am not a lawyer. So you'll need to check with each stock photo service on your own to feel comfortable about the rights of using other people's images. So I use the plugin and I don't worry about it. But again, I cannot, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a copyright expert, so that you want to do your own due diligence. All right, so that was number three. Now we're on to number four, and this is called redirection. So I'm going to explain what redirection is. You probably experience it a lot on the internet, and you don't even know sort of what's, what's going on, but redirection. So what is redirection? Redirection is where your website directs you to another page. So um, for example, when I run the website creation workshop or before I open it for registration, I have a next workshop page where people can opt in to get on the notification list and then once enrollment is open, instead of you know, changing all the links everywhere on my site, I set up redirection so it jumps over to the enrollment page. So how does this look? When you're at one website and they click, it redirects the person to this other place. And it could be a different place on your website or they could redirect them somewhere else. So the concept is it jumps you from one page to another. And this is the redirection plugin. And it's a great alternative to taking down a page, like, or for redirecting people when a product is sold out, or anything where you don't want to delete the original. Instead, you want to replace it. You want to redirect them somewhere else. So, for example, this, I use this format for, and I always have it on my site for when is the next workshop, but I don't want to delete that page or take it down. I just want to redirect folks to the enrollment page. 
and that is called redirection. And again, this is a free plugin. All right, so that was number four. Moving on to number five, and hope I'm not going too fast, and hope everybody's able to follow along. And some of these you're going to be like, ooh, yeah, I could use that. And some, and some of these you might be, I see the benefit, but I don't, don't need it quite yet. All right, let's, does everybody recognize what this image is? It's from a famous painter. It's a, it's a cartoon of a famous painting. I was an art history uh, major in, yes, Magritte. Thank you, I lost the word, Robin. I was an art history uh, major in college, so I found this fun. All right, so this is about hiding widgets. So widgets, and I really hate that term because it sounds so techy. I wish they had called it the bookcase. So widget areas are like shelves in a bookcase. So when you have a WordPress site, there's these different areas you can put things. So widgets are the things you put into the shelves. Okay, so does that make sense? They're like, here, let me show this next slide. This slide makes sense. So four widget items on the bookshelf. So this is the sidebar area. So this is, in a way, the shelf. And in this shelf, in this sidebar widgets area, I've got one, two, three, four. Right? I've got a search box. I've got a recent blog post, I've got archives, and then categories. So these are, this is a screenshot of one of my students in the early phases in the website creation workshop learning about these widget areas. So you can decide which widgets you want to hide or show on different pages or posts. So this is a screenshot from my blog. And this is the sidebar widget area. So the sidebar area, and I've got a free opt-in. I've got a search box. I've got a connect with me. I've got uh, an image of an, where you click to see success stories. And then I have instructions on how to update WordPress. So with this plugin, which is free, called Widget Options, you can manage the visibility of your widgets for more control. So, when, and I'll show you an example and then you're gonna go like, oh, okay, I get it. So here's the example. So if you come to my site and you opt in for one of my free reports, you then go to a thank you page. So this is the thank you page. So let me back up. So if you're coming here and opting in, after you've opted in, you don't want to see this again, right? So on my thank you page, there's no reason to have that opt-in box again because you just opted in. So this is on the thank you page, you hide it. So it can, and this is one very simple example of hiding widgets. There's many different other instances where you might want to hide a widget, but this is the plugin. It's called Widget Options, and it l lets you just control where widgets are going to show and where they're not going to show. All right, so that was number five. We are now on to number six, which is sort of similar, and it's about excluding pages from your site search. Right, so some uh, pages you don't want to be found. So most websites have a search box, right? So that's on my website, this is where the search box is. And here's uh, an example of pages you might want to exclude when somebody does a search. So if somebody, this is this is the inside of my graphics creation workshop. And when people join that program, I, I have a survey. So I don't want anybody to search and find the survey feed, thank you page for the survey. Like there's no reason to find that. 
or um, in my programs you submit questions for um, the live coaching and then there's a thank you page well there'd be no reason for someone to search for that page so it's a way to have hidden pages it's a way to have pages on your site but they're hidden so um, yes yeah, so sometimes you want to exclude these and this is a plugin called search exclude and you tell WordPress which pages or posts you want to exclude from the search results so like uh, if you have a download page you might want to exclude it so here's an example of my productivity tips download page this is in the classic editor viewing it that way when you turn on search exclude the plugin this little area will show up and then you just check the box right this falls into an easy plugin that's very useful so you just check the box hey I don't want somebody to come to my site and search for the term download I don't want them to find the download page I want them to opt in and then get to the download page you check that box and it excludes those pages or blog posts from the search so let me just clarify so everybody understands there's site search meaning on your website searching throughout your whole website or there's a Google search right a Google search or Bing or, or whichever one you use DuckDuckGo Google searches search the whole internet a site search with a search box only searches what is the contents of your site so to exclude a page or a post or multiple pages or posts from your site search you would use the search exclude plugin um, you can also exclude a page or a post from a Google search and you can do that with the Yoast SEO plugin and you can have both now if some of you are like oh wow that was a lot Christina I'm not sure I understood it all it's okay it's okay if you didn't sort of grasp it all when it comes back through your consciousness you'll be like oh yeah I remember Christina talked about that so um, site search is searching just your website Google search is searching the whole internet and um, those are the two plugins um, to take care of those things all right let's move on to number seven right we're number seven out of our my top ten and this is how to embed a PDF on your website so you can embed a PDF into your website so many of you create PDFs um, you can have any kind of PDF document or handouts for your clients or your online courses so this is a screenshot of one of my PDFs creating a WordPress website from scratch and I have it embedded into my site and it shows better on this screenshot then there's little arrows you to click to the next page or back up so people can flip through the PDF on your website super super easy to install they can also zoom in and zoom out and this is called a uh, PDF embedder PDF embedder uh, a free plugin and um, you can upload and embed documents on your site and it will resize uh, to the browser or whatever mobile device and it's really easy to use and it's very useful if you're like a coach or a consultant or if you want to sell maybe PDFs this could be on the thank you page after somebody buys or if you're working with clients you might have a, a getting started document that you give your clients you work with so PDF and better then number eight is social media sharing social media sharing now remember when I get to the q and I can go back through and explain more about any one of these plugins 
So number eight, social media sharing. So you want to share your site on social media. So here's an example of one of my articles. And here is the landscape of the internet world. And I know there's more, like I don't have TikTok on here. And Twitter, as everybody knows, is now called X. I refuse to call it X. I call it Twitter. I thought it was really stupid that they renamed it from uh, Twitter to X. But anyway, so that's why I've got both icons there. And I'm going to keep calling it Twitter. So you want to share your site to the various social media platforms because then that will get people from these platforms coming back to your site. And so really this becomes a two-way street of you sharing your site onto Twitter or onto X or LinkedIn or Facebook or Pinterest, Instagram, whatever. TikTok's not even on here. And then it's going to drive traffic back to your site. So by having a social share on your website, not only do you share it, but people reading your article, and if they like it, they might share it to one of the other social platforms. Um, so for example, um, you could click, so if you clicked on share to Facebook, then up will pop up a share to Facebook link, and then you can share it and um, change, you know, is it going just to your friends or to the public or on your own timeline, and you can add a comment in there. Uh, here is a uh, sharing to Twitter. I probably need a new screenshot, but it doesn't matter. Sharing to Twitter X. It clicks and it automatically pops that up and then you can tweet it out. Um, here is an example of sharing to LinkedIn and then sharing to Pinterest. And there's other places to share to. Um, so on WordPress at wordpress.org, there are lots of different social sharing icon plugins. So in the search bar, you just type in social sharing icons, and then it will bring up a whole bunch of them. Um, and it can add, you can have follow me buttons as well as social sharing. So there's a few to pick from, like which are the best? Well, here's two of them that I think are good. But really, what's the best one? It sort of depends upon you and how you like the look of what it looks like on your site. So um, social share icons and social share buttons is one of them that I like. And then this one, add to any, it's very simple, very simple to use. And at the time of this webinar, as you can see here, there's half a million people are using this. So this one's really easy. This one has more customization. So it takes just a few minutes more to set up. This one, super easy. All right, so that was eight, social sharing. Number nine is to help you find moldy plugins. Okay, so like, oh, Christina, what's a moldy plugin? Well, sometimes developers abandon their plugins, meaning they've written a plugin, they put it up at the wordpress.org website, and then it gets too old, right? And so this one, was four years old. So how do you know when a plugin gets abandoned? Right? How do you know? Well, this plugin called WordFence, and it's free, they also have a paid version. It helps you keep your site secure and it helps you and it helps scan your site for outdated plugins. So this is my favorite part of WordFence is the scanning because it will go through, it will scan your site, and it will let you know if something is outdated. So for example, you know, here are these two plugins and it says it looks like it has been abandoned and this one looks like it's been abandoned. And so it will, and then, and then here it's telling me one of my plugins needs an upgrade. Now, if you decide to use WordFence, 
WordFence will send you a lot of emails scaring you. So I recommend you sort of turn off a lot of notifications. So that's the only thing about WordFence that I don't like is it sends you too much email. But I love the scanning thing. So it'll scan all my plugins and tell me what's outdated or what I need to update. All right, so that was number nine. Now we're at number 10, which is let's speed up our website. Let's speed it up. And you speed up your website by caching it. All right, so what is caching? So caching is like taking a stored snapshot of your website. So imagine we're out in this field and the wind is kind of blowing gently and the clouds are moving gently. And if you take a snapshot, that's like a picture of the scene. So you don't necessarily need to see it updated all the time, the picture, like a snapshot will work. So when you have your site cached, here, let me go to the next slide, as this is my favorite plugin. When you add a plugin to cache your site, what happens is if you go to your About Us page, it's probably not changing all that much. So when someone visits your site, they can see a cached snapshot version of the About Us, because if you go in and edit it, it will get updated again. I hope everybody's following me. And if you're not following me, just like you need a caching plugin, it will speed your site up. There's no reason for the computer to dynamically build the page every single time if nothing has changed. So that's what caching is. My favorite plugin is WP Rocket. It is paid. And so, and I'm going to show you some free ones as well. But christinasresources.com forward slash WP dash rocket. I resisted paying for this for a long time. And a friend of mine is like, oh, you really need WP Rocket. You really need WP Rocket. And then I finally said, all right, I'll, I'll buy the plugin. And it made my site go so much faster. So here are two others that are free. Um, auto, and I never know how to pronounce this. Auto, auto. <clears throat> auto pimp pimp to my, I can't, I'm not even going to try to say it. I want to call it auto optimize, but that's not how it's spelled. And then W3 total cash. So these are two free ones. How is WP rocket better or different? I don't know, but it made, it goes, it speeds sites up faster than these two. All right. So those are my top 10, but you're probably thinking, are we forgetting something? Christina, are you forgetting something about an important plugin? Yeah, backup, a backup plugin. And if this hasn't happened to you, it's probably happened to your friend like, oh no, I didn't make a backup. So WordPress software themes or plugins sometimes break. It does not happen that often, but sometimes something breaks. Or a hacker could sneak into your site or some kind of act of God and like your site goes down for whatever reason. So backups are insurance. You rarely need them, but when you do, it's important. And in the 16 years I've been teaching and running my own websites with WordPress, there's probably only been once or twice where I needed to get my site back from a backup. So it's just like insurance. So um, there are many different backup plugins. And even though your web hosting company will keep a backup, sometimes they're really old. So it's good to make your own backups, even if your hosting company might have a backup. And here are two free backup plugins that I like. Uh, Updraft Plus and Manage WP. So, and I believe they both have a free and a paid version. Uh, what I like about Manage WP, and you can find that at Christina's Resources.com forward slash 
manage WP is it gives you a kind of control center if you have a lot of different websites. So I use this because I'm managing 50 different websites. If you're only doing one, you know, maybe you want to use Updraft Plus. So, um, and this, I like this a lot. It makes doing updates really fun. And you could use it if you only have one site and they have a free version. All right, so let me go through the quick steps to evaluate any plugin. And you want to think of these plugins as your little, your little robots that are helping you on your site do various things. So what you do to evaluate a plugin, this is the way I do it, is you go to the wordpress.org directory. That's they refer to it as the directory, or you might hear it called the repository. And then you search for a plugin. So you type in a name or you type in a concept. So this is the best way to evaluate. So remember instant images I was talking about? Um, this is what came up and it is interesting that these other things that have nothing to do with instant images also came up. So this is the one I was talking about. Um, and oh, by the way, Lightspeed Cache is also a good caching plugin. All right, so you search on wordpress.org and then you click like you would click from here um, and then you see the plugin. And so now this screenshot is zoomed out, right, with where I could see more to the page. And here are the things you want to look at. You want to look at when was it last updated? Well, three weeks ago is pretty recent. Even six months ago is, is recent. If it says last updated seven years ago, I would steer clear. And then how many active installations? So what does that mean? That means how many websites are using this plugin? And there are over 200,000. I know the screen's kind of tiny, but there are over 200,000 people using this plugin. So why is that important? If a lot of people are using a plugin, it means the developers are keeping it up to date, they're improving it, they're, there's a lot of activity. So you want to use plugins that are very popular because it means it's probably a better developed, more documentation, etc. Uh, then test it up to doesn't always matter so much, that's why I've skipped over that. Um, it's a little bit more techie folks are interested in that. but star ratings. I'm jumping down to that because I don't want you to spend forever geeking out on this. I'm trying to teach you sort of the quick ways you can evaluate a plugin. So if it has a lot of stars, now this one, you know, only, I'm surprised not more people rated it, but sometimes people find a plugin, they love it and they move on and they don't give back. So it does have a good star rating. And then support forum, again, I don't want to get too techy, but the support forum, there's a, a link to go to the support forum just to see how active it is, meaning are they answering questions? So this process of looking at last updated active installation, star rating, and how good is the support forum, that takes me literally five minutes. It's like, oh, okay. They got a lot of people, that looks good, it's been updated, it's good, they got a lot of installs. Okay, I'll use this plugin. All right, so stay with me until the end where I can answer questions and review websites if people want their sites reviewed. All right, so say you've got a WordPress site, but is it helping you market your business? So you're in the right place if you just know what you should be doing more you just know that you should be doing more with WordPress, but you're not exactly always sure what to do. And you have a WordPress website already, um, but you're not as familiar with it as you could be. So I'm going to walk through this little quiz of do you have a website? So uh, the first part of the quiz is do you have a website? Yes, it's a WordPress website. 
No, if you don't have a WordPress website, you'll want to join me in my foundation program, which you can find at WebsiteCreationClass.com. So this is my uh, little quiz, right? So do you have a website? Yes. You go here, no, you'd want to take my foundation class. Do you know how to create a page? How to, oh, I've got a zoom in. Do you know how to create a page? Do you know how to create a blog post? Do you know the difference? Do you know how to create a menu? Do you know how to upload a picture? Do you know how to change themes? Do you know how to add a plugin? Well, if the answer is yes to all of these, then my intermediate WordPress training is for you. If that's you and don't have a WordPress site, um, put your name in the chat so my team can follow up. Uh, and if you want, you can add your phone number if you want a, a call from us, but we can get you a link to my beginner's course. All right, let me talk about the website marketing workshop. So in this program, there's seven modules. You get to start where you need help most. There's 24-7 access. We have two live interactive coaching webinars a month. There's an extensive video library of videos I've created. Um, you get answers to your questions about your business and your website. And we do have a Facebook group for community support. And in the uh, marketing workshop, um, you'll learn how to update your theme. So if you don't like your current theme design, I'll help you find and switch to a different one. Uh, help you find a theme that you love that is easy to work with and won't get out of date. Um, replace old or custom themes without breaking your website. If you've got a designer who's long gone, I'll help you pick a new theme. And how to evaluate themes, the pros and cons of paid themes, uh, standard WordPress themes versus uh, page builders. So if you want to redesign your, your site, that module is for you. And maybe you don't. Maybe you don't need that module. Um, in my content creation secrets, I've got um, how often you should blog and how long your blog posts need to be, how to develop a habit and system for creating content and for later posting on social media, how to find and add inspiring images and videos um, for your blog, blog posts. Um, then we have a module on social media traffic. So how to get more social followers when people visit your site with easy to add social media buttons that I talked about. How to know which social media sites to use and which you can ignore. How to get people to share your articles, blog posts, and ideas across the web with easy to add sharing buttons. Uh, then there is a module on growing your email list. Um, email marketing explained simply and demystified. How to easily add stylish email sign-up boxes anywhere on your site. Step-by-step how-to instructions to set up any email marketing system with your new sign-up boxes. So that's growing an email list. Then I have a module on selling from your website, how to add easy payment buttons to your site, how you can add PayPal, Stripe, Amazon, or any shopping cart system you want. And you can do this in just minutes with no techie skills. Then we have a search engine optimization module, how to write articles that will make you show up higher in Google, how to optimize any page or blog post for Google rankings, uh, simple adjustments and plugins to use, uh, to use on your site that will help you improve your rankings. So that's the SEO section. Then you're gonna learn how to make your site faster, you got out-of-date plugins, how to update them. If you don't have a secure SSL, and what that is, is if your site's not HTTPS, I'll help you get that set up and help you find and clean out old abandoned themes and plugins like I was talking about with um, 
the moldy plugins. Um, and I'm going to teach you how to do this that a developer would be charging you big bucks for. Um, and taking that further, um, how to update themes and plugins, how to maintain and update your website so you don't have to pay somebody else. The most efficient way to back up your site, understanding your site's analytics, and making your site secure. The best way to keep your website safe and secure from hackers. Uh, this program also has my Divi theme training. So some people want to switch to a Divi uh, website. So Divi is the theme. It is premium. So there's an extra fee that doesn't come to me if you decide to use the Divi theme. And you can make all kinds of sites with Divi. So in the uh, website marketing workshop, I'm going to go through this sort of cycle, right? So you might upgrade to a new theme. You might be creating content, leveraging social media, building an email list, getting traffic from search engines, selling online, or maintaining your site. So why do I call this a cycle? Because this is not linear. This is go in any order. So some people sign up and they want to just focus on creating their content first. And then after that, they want to leverage social media. Other people jump into this program and they want a new theme or they want to sell online. And so you get to pick and choose all the different modules are open all at once as soon as you join. Uh, in this program, because I love keep, I love coaching online, I love coaching people. We have two live group coaching webinars every month keeping you up to date. You can bring your questions you have about marketing your website and get coaching help directly from me and experts that I bring on. You can attend live or listen later. You can submit your questions ahead of time. And we'll answer all your questions. Everything is recorded and stored in our online members area. And for those of you who like Facebook, we have a private Facebook community. So you don't have to be in this. Some people just use Facebook just for this group and they don't bother with all the other nonsense on Facebook. So um, here's where you get to share your site and get support and I can give uh, feedback um, in the group and with my tech coaches and help you stay on top of important trends. So let me just show you some student success stories. So here's Marty and here is her before and after. So she updated her site to this uh, more professional, engaging looking site. And this is her um, bakery. Um, this is Maureen. She said, before discovering Christina, I spent thousands of dollars on websites that were more like placeholders and obsolete. Uh, before they ever got up and fully running. So we'd have to scrap them and start all over again after years of work. To say the least, it was disheartening because my work is so vital to the health and well-being being of those in the throes of life transitions, crisis, and challenges that I wanted to share it as widely and effectively as possible. And doing so online just wasn't working for me. Uh, she continues to say, and here's her other site, I would never have known about the gems like the WordPress Divi theme if it weren't for Christina. Now it makes up the core of my three websites, an online course and a membership site. Christina's clear, calm teaching approach makes grasping website creation not only possible but inspiring. She's an absolute breath of fresh air in the world of online marketing. You feel heard, respected, and supported right where you're at wherever that is, while learning from her. So that was Maureen. She's an echo, author of Echo Spiritual Nutrition. Uh, and this is Leah, Lila, Lila. She's an artist, coach, and speaker. She says, it's always been my dream to write and share stories of my photographs that I shot while traveling the world. Christina's website marketing workshop offered me an opportunity to realize this dream. Through this incredible process of learning to market my website, 
I've been able to reach and have dialogue with so many wonderful people. The classes were thorough, well explained, and her customer support people are always ready to help. When I finished the program, I was confident in maintaining and marketing my website. There always seems to be a way to have access to any information you need through her support programs. I cannot thank Christina Hills and her team enough for helping me accomplish something that seemed so unattainable two years ago. And this is Lauren, and she has been in my program. She's been in it for years because she's always updating, adding new sites. She says, I love how Christina Hills always keeps me up to date on the latest trends and technologies for WordPress in the Website Marketing Workshop. And the biggest thing is that she really wants us to succeed. She and her team stays on top of things and makes sure everyone is taken care of. I've been learning from her for years, and she always has a new, fresh approach to things that helps me keep my business and websites running smoothly. And then um, this is Sally's, and I won't read all of it. She's an author and coach. She says she's been my go-to mentor for building my own website since 2012. Her trainings have empowered me to maintain control over my own website, which has been crucial to updating my website in a timely and affordable manner. Um, so one of my bonuses is an online booking, online booking uh, appointments. So this is how to take appointments right in your website with an easy to install plugin, why you want to use this for both paying clients and potential clients, and this will save you time. So um, I was talking with someone about how, gosh, why don't they have an online booking? It would be so much easier. So uh, this is Sally's, and in her lower right-hand corner, she has a little pop-up, and she can you can schedule uh, to talk with her. And it's great for coaches or consultants or anyone who might want to do a discovery call. Um, here's Michelle Anderson. Here's her before and after, so before she took the website marketing workshop and then and then after and she said um, here's her testimonial I just wanted to make a post here and share how impressed I am with your and we used to call it the website transformation but we changed it to marketing with your website uh, marketing workshop I've only made it through the refresh module but I've jumped around to check out different things including looking at the Facebook forum I can tell you are passionate about teaching this topic, and so far everything has been so well and thoroughly explained. It's truly refreshing to have this step-by-step -step instruction when you are someone who doesn't know much about WordPress or how to m create or maintain a website. And you can binge watch the videos in the members area, just like Netflix. Uh, you can go fast or slow. It is your choice. And here is my guarantee. So this is a um, monthly membership and we have an annual. So I'm so confident in the website marketing workshop that I know if you follow the steps and do the work, you will have a truly transforming experience marketing website. Marketing your website. And just to back that up, we'll give you the first 30 days to decide if my teaching methods are for you. If you decide the program's not for you, let us know by email within 30 days and you'll get a 100% refund of your first payment. And then after the 30 days, you can cancel at uh, any, any future payments. So the place to go to is WebsiteMarketingWorkshop.com. WebsiteMarketingWorkshop.com. Go there, pick your payment plan, and get enrolled in the program. Okay, so this is the place to enroll in my intermediate programs called the Website Marketing Workshop, and we have a video playing at the top and a headline, and this is built on the Divi theme. And here are some social sharing if, you, if I want to share this. And this is designed for other people to be able to share so I don't need to say my name again. And let me... Go ahead and share that. I'll close that out. Anyway, scrolling down, that was a little diversion. 
I've got an embedded video in here and um, uh, you'll also learn how to embed videos on your WordPress site. And then here are the different modules and what you're going to learn. So, um, and I went through this, so I'm not going to read it all. So it's the same that I went through uh, today. And here's some testimonials from people who've been through my program. Scroll down. Uh, here's the bonus is uh, booking clients online. Uh, here's another bonus for Divi users. If you want to make, this is like a mini website. It's called a link tree. So I give you that layout for that private Facebook group. Go at your own pace. Frequently asked questions. So when does it start since this is a monthly membership? It starts as soon as you enroll and you can read through these. I want to scroll down. That's me. More testimonials. My guarantee. So you have 30 days to decide if this is right for you. And then you can pick the monthly membership. It's billed uh, every 30 days. Or if you choose the annual, you get two months for free. So if you click through, this will take you to um, this page and then you can pick the annual or the monthly. You can pay with a credit card or with PayPal. All right, I'm going to go back and uh, take a sip of water and Joanna, why don't you read me some questions? I can go look at websites. I can go back through any of the PowerPoint presentation.